Coming up is my six week hair growth update on wearing mini braids on my natural hair. You're watching my natural hair journey here on Simply Chev. It's week six on my mini braids natural hair growth challenge where I'm using mini braids to grow my natural hair. Long, healthy and strong, let's get into today's video. So I'm showing you there just some of the growth that I've received so far in this challenge quite a lot. And in today's video, I'm also going to be redoing my nape and talking a little bit about the importance of nape care, taking care of that area just above your neck and the first really area at the back of your hair where hair starts to grow. And that's a very important area to take care of in order to grow it nice, long and healthy and strong. Welcome or welcome back to all my new and returning subscribers. I really appreciate each and every one of you stopping by my channel, checking out my content. It really does mean a lot to me. If you are new around here, welcome. I make videos on using really simple methods such as mini braids, mini twists to grow your natural hair, as well as giving you styling ideas, DIYs, tips to take care of your type 4 natural hair or natural hair in general, because a lot of my tips can be used for all hair types. So it's already six weeks in or the sixth week of my challenge so far and in today's video i really want to talk about the nape you've seen in one of my previous video that i redid the edges of my hair that's at the front portion but also there is that area at the back where we do get a lot more build up and a lot of problems can occur if we don't take care of that area that is our nape so what you will see me doing in this video is taking down that area of braids bit by bit and also putting them back in as well as giving you some hair care tips. So first of all, first and foremost, the reason why we need to take care of this area of our hair is because we can lose it when we're wearing styles up like a really high bun or so. If our nape's really bad, then we're going to have a really nice bun, but you know, everyone's going to see the back of our hair and all of that area is going to be damaged. So we really need to take care of it in the same way that we take care of the edges at the front of our hair so for the longer challenges I tend to do my edges say for a 12 week challenge I tend to do my edges twice within that time I tend to do the nape of my hair uh, about the same amount of time that's because as I said I get a lot of build up in that area and that build up comes from lint it also comes from hair products that we use such as oils or my DIY infused oils which has herb mixtures in there and so all of that hair is getting clogged in that area I would say the very first tip or thing you need to do when you're taking care of your nape is to handle it with care. I do have another video on my channel talking about nape care, but I wanted to do an updated one. You want to handle that area very gently. As you can see, my hair actually looks really dry and you can see that I do have a weekly routine and I do maintain a, a, a routine um, outside of what I film. So I do keep on top of my moisture routine. However, you can still see that my nape is really quite dry. And so the first thing you want to do is handle it gently uh, when you're taking down these braids long-term braids six weeks old braid you want to make sure that as you get to the bit that's built up that you're really taking your time to take this down and those four or so braids took me about an hour to do what is really good though is the amount of buildup actually shows you just the amount of growth that you've got and you can see there that I've got about an inch or more there from where the, 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 the buildup of that starts. And so I'm taking that down bit by bit, feeling my way through for any larger bundles of uh, buildup that I can see and taking that off gently. Now if I left that on for 12 weeks, that would spell a lot of problems and also that is a way that your hair would start to lock. That blink up of build etc will start to lock. So you want to make sure you take these down. Now my hair had already gone through a wash day routine and so I didn't I wasn't going to do a wash day routine for this in there I did decide to put um, some some hair on top of my braids just for a week because I didn't want to deal with it and actually in this video it doesn't really look all of that great so they came down pretty quickly I didn't do a video on it. The next hair care tips for dealing with your nape is to make sure that the styles that you're putting in your hair are not too tight for that area because once again when you're doing high styles it can be damaged and it can be permanently damaged so that you'll never be able to wear those sort of styles again. A lot of people that process their hair through relaxing found they had a lot of problems with their nape where the new growth was coming in etc but it's still the same on a natural hair journey that we take care of, particularly of that part. Of our hair and you can see there I've man managed to do one braid and it's looking quite neat I'm showing you the rest of it and really all the buildup that I've gotten there in the last six weeks it was definitely time to take it down and if you are on week six of the challenge I encourage you to really assess your nape and see how those braids in the back are doing it is a good time to actually assess all of your hair and make sure that none of it is locking by taking down one braid 
It is a good point to point out that I have done a longer mini braids challenge before. So check out my older mini braids playlist. Um, and that was a 22 week challenge. So you can see week by week, even if you're ahead, just what I was doing. But this, this challenge is on week six, but you're welcome to check out any one of my other challenges, including my mini twist for growth challenge. I've created a playlist called specifically how to grow your natural hair in 2023 and that is for beginners if you've never grown your natural hair before I'm hoping to add videos to that there is already a lot of videos and there is how to grow your natural hair in 2022 so check those two out if you're new on your natural hair journey you just don't know where to start those are very good resources for helping you to grow your natural hair I've also seen a name change, a slight name change to my channel. I am going to be talking about personal development a lot, even over some of this hair. So even as you see me doing my hair or taking down my braids, I will be giving you personal development tips because I am in that season of my life where I'm really seeking to grow spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally as a mother, as a wife. And so I'll be giving out some of those tips, not necessarily speaking to the camera, but even as so I'm doing my hair. Just a length check there for you to see where my hair is going. And I'm really quite happy with that length. My hair is growing going along nicely okay so back to our nape and nape care the next thing i like to do for my nape is to uh, oil it and i like to put uh, all my, my virgin hair fertilizer is the main oil that i use but i use uh, olive oil down there sometimes and because as i said you know it's getting washed as you're having a shower um it's getting it wet a lot more and sometimes with harsher products more than the rest of your hair so i do like to put some oil in there and i also like when i'm uh it's drying from showering i want to make sure that i'm not rubbing the towel too hard on that area or i'll also incur breakage so watch out for the way you dry your neck to make sure that that material is not rubbing on your nape to uh to damage your nape at all you can see as with the rest of my hair i'm using a wide tooth comb to deal with my nape and i'm being extra careful i'm being very gentle as i take down these braids taking as long as it takes and, and knowing that this is a sensitive part of my hair so i'm handling it as such so reflections then on week six of the mini braids hair growth challenge how is everyone getting on i'd love to know in the comment section below do comment down below. I'm loving the questions that I'm receiving. Um, I have addressed uh, someone was saying that, you know, what week we are on the challenge. Um, it might seem that these videos are slightly ahead of yours, but it's so that they're out in time for you to be able to be in that week. So hopefully that makes sense. But I really do want to know how everyone's getting on on the challenge. I'm certainly receiving a lot of growth, as you can see, and doing a lot of things with my hair, but I would really love to know how you're getting on. Personally, I'm sticking to my routine. I'm washing my hair, sealing it, putting virgin hair fertilizer on my scalp and leaving it for a whole week. And I'm getting a lot of growth. So I'm really loving the challenge. I'm really now in cruise mode in week six and just waiting for all of that growth to come in. All the hard work is already done. Now we're just on maintenance. If you have any other tips on dealing with your nape, growing your nape, as I said, there is another video and I will be doing an updated just general hair care tips video for dealing with your nape. So look out for that. Do pop them down below though, because you might have other tips for growing out your nape or for looking after your nape that I have not mentioned in this video. So then I go ahead and I do all of those braids and then I'm just happy. I leave that those braids in for um, another four or so weeks and then I'll reassess my nape again to make sure that I'm not getting a, a lot of buildup, etc. I hope you've enjoyed the tips today on how to grow your natural hair in general and also focusing on hair growth for the nape and also a quick uh, week six mini braids update. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching my video and I will see you in my next one. Take care.